Okay, a quick and super easy tutorial on how to use these clipping masks for paint swatches in Photoshop. So I'm just going to open one of them up. Let's open with Photoshop. And then you have to create a box above it. So I'm just going to use my little box tool and just put a box over the whole thing. And then you can click on the box and pick a color so you can see what's happening here. And then right click on that layer and hit create clipping mask. And then it masks it to that exact shape, transparency, texture, all of it. So I'm going to do another box. Oops, go away. I'm going to do another box of white just so I can show you. I'm going to put it underneath it so you can see. When there's white behind it, you can see it a lot better. Now if you want to do patterns, you click on the box and you go to the properties panel. When you click on the little box of color here, this will pop up with some other options and this one on the far right is for patterns. So you could take a pattern that you have loaded in Photoshop and click on it, adjust the scale a little bit to get it how you want it. Oop, oop, that, that's wild. Don't want to do that much. Up and down arrows make it a little easier to pick there. And then you would hide the background and go to File, Save As. I'm just gonna pick a spot. We're gonna go Test, whatever you wanna name it. Do a ping file, and then you hit Save. And then that's it, you're done. You could bring it into your other design software. You could bring it into Silhouette Studio. You can continue to work on it right here, um, but just exporting it makes it so you can pull it into other programs if that's what you wanted to do. But you just change the pattern or you change the color. If you have some digital papers that you want to pull in, same thing. You just right click on that layer and hit create clipping mask and it'll clip it so it matches the texture and the transparency and the whole shape of the layer beneath it.